Welcome and thanks for watching this CAST highlight tutorial series. This quick training is focusing on the application assessment process. So this content targets mainly portfolio managers and application owners. Prior to dive into the training per se, let's provide a quick reminder. CAST highlight is an application portfolio analysis solution running in SaaS. The solution is meant to provide a rapid and objective health assessment which ultimately provides clear insights to make smart decisions. The assessment process is very straightforward and can be summarized as follows. Cast Highlight uses assessment campaigns that invite application owners to answer a short survey and execute a local agent to scan the code. This analysis happens locally and only the results of the scan are uploaded to the portal. In other words, the code never leaves the company. As soon as the assessment process is done, you can leverage key analytics at both portfolio and application levels directly through the web interface. As mentioned previously, as soon as a campaign starts, any app owner involved is invited to participate to the assessment. The app owner can whether click on the URL within the email or directly reach the application scans menu to engage with the campaign. This page is listing all the applications to be assessed for a given app owner. In this case, we've got two apps to analyze. One is called My Customer Management, the other My ERP. Bear in mind that the campaign configuration can contain only survey, only code scan, or both. In this case, we have to complete both the survey and the code scan prior to submit the results for these two applications. Let's start with the survey by clicking on the button. This survey embeds four sections that come out of the box with the solution. In other words, if we do answer these questions and apply the code scan, we'll leverage 100% of cast highlight analytics. Let's spend some time on each of these sections to quickly explain the questions. It will also be a good opportunity to describe how the survey answers actually feed the overall portfolio analytics. Let's start with the software maintenance estimate section. The app owner is invited to answer a bunch of questions which are all related to the efforts to maintain the application. So for instance, we have to pick a CMMI level. The capability maturity model is associated to the degree of formalization and optimization of the process within a scale from one to five, which corresponds to maturity levels from initial to optimizing. The percentage of dev effort spent on maintenance over the last 12 months, so in this case, evolutions are clearly excluded. We count the percentage of work dedicated to corrective, adaptive, perfective, and preventive activities performed on the application code. The average skill level of the dev team on this specific type of app can be total newbies or experts with more than 6 years of experience. What the annual staff turnover within the dev team? And last, the percentage of change to the base code in the last 12 months. That's typically something that can be found from the, your source code management tool. It stands for the sum between the lines of code created and lines of code modified, then the result divided by the total lines of code. When the software maintenance section is complete, you do feed cast highlight with valuable information to compute several metrics. Here are some concrete examples of dashboards and insights that leverage the survey answers. The software maintenance estimate dashboard, which actually compares actual effort versus recommended efforts computed by the Kokomo 2 standards. And here is the trending, which allows to monitor the evolution of the maintenance effort over time. Let's move to the next section called Business Impact. This section strives to collect concrete data to determine how impactful for the business this application is. Here are the questions to be answered. Number of major releases over the last 12 months? Let's check if this application is in line with the company technology roadmap. What's the global annual effort? In other words, what's the average number of FTE who worked over the code this last 12 months? What kind of users does this application serve and their approximate number? And then, the last four questions are meant to qualify the impact in case of failure in production. Could this harm the public image of the company? 
Could it lead to a loss of opportunity or even a loss of revenues? When you do answer this section, you feed cast highlight with valuable information to compute the business impact. This metric is key for several dashboards, as well as for the calculation of the role, ranking of application risk. The following section called application properties is focusing on attributes to categorize and describe the application. First, the app owner is invited to type his or her name. Then, when the application has been implemented. Are we talking about a custom app, a pure cut, or a customized cut? Last, the type of application, which enables to activate filters on some dashboard. The pieces of information collected through this short section enables to condition the graphical representation, depending on if it's a custom app or a commercial of the shelf. The typology of the application serves two important dashboards. The application categories, where we can glance at the applications regardless of their nature and grasp how many apps are actually getting the same scope or type. Another key dashboard remains the benchmark, where we can apply filters to compare apples with apples. The last section is dedicated to the cloud readiness assessment. As mentioned in two previous tutorials, the Cloud Ready Index is a combination of a survey and a CAD scan. The Cloud Survey section aims at capturing info that we cannot derive from the source code. The questions address several dimensions like the target cloud workload, the way to consume data, how the application is exposed to others, the authentication mechanism in place, the current SLA, average skills and experience on cloud technology within the development team, the type of database provider, for instance, is it standard or not, deployable or not into the cloud, how this application interacts outside of its boundaries, is it a mono or multi-tenant, if multi-tenant, we then have a choice between multi-tenant with dedicated database, dedicated schema, or simply fully multi-tenant app. Next. What about the level of automation of the deployment process? What's the current deployment platform? Is that desktop app, mobile, backend, or web app? And finally, what's the evolution model and feedback loop implementation from waterfall to agile and DevOps? All these answers feed directly the cloud service core, which participates to the computation of the overall cloud ready index. And as you can imagine, Cloud Ready Index participates to several dashboards at portfolio level. But it's also displayed and detailed within the application ID card. Some additional information prior to engage with the code scan. At any time, you can save the survey and resume later. The tooltips provide additional details and description. The survey must be complete prior to submit the results. And next time we'll have to assess the same app, the survey will arrive pre-filled, i.e. we won't have to start from scratch, but just to perform a quick gap analysis and only update the answers that have changed. The survey part is now complete. We can now transition to the code scan. When we click on Upload Results, a window pops up and is waiting for some files. These expected files correspond to the results of the code scan. To perform the scan, we'll have to download and install the Cast Highlight local agent. Once downloaded, we can run the installation wizard from a Windows machine. We follow the sequence, accept the terms and conditions, set the installation folder, and get this installed on the machine. Once deployed, we can now launch the local agent. Cast Highlight Local Agent is meant to scan the source code of applications. As a unique entry, it's waiting for the root folder where resides the source code. Bear in mind that you can define many folders in case of distributed application. For this example, let's enter a root folder which corresponds to a small Java application. 
let's press on the Discover Files button. This discovery is meant to inventory any piece of technology found across the folders tree. By expanding the root folder, we get visibility by folder, including the technology, but also the number of files. At any time, you can decide to switch off some folders if you want to remove some files from the current analysis. Once it's done and the scope is validated, we can proceed with a real cut scan. The local agent scans the source code regardless of the technologies. Once done, we can then confirm the results to move to the next step. The local agent leverages the scanning process to also discover the frameworks. Category 1 stands for frameworks that are used for sure. Category 2 gathers frameworks which might be used based on the config files. Category 3, in case the framework has not been identified, we still get the opportunity to add it manually. We can now save the result files. Bear in mind that at no time the local agent has sent information to the highlight platform. All happened locally. While saving the results, you can open the parent folder and glance at the individual files. One file consolidates the discovered frameworks. One file per technology, so here is one for Java and one for Corn Shell. Let's open the file corresponding to the Java analysis, just to prove that there is no source code here. Last, the result file for the cloud readiness analysis. We can now come back on the application scan page, hit the upload results button. From here, we can drag and drop or simply browse to upload the result files. So to summarize, survey part done, upload scan result files done. We can finally submit the results to onboard our application into Cast Highlight Analytics. If we refresh the page, we notice that the line has just been updated and only one remaining app must be assessed now. We can go back to the home menu and glance at the application analytics. It's now including the consolidated results of our newly onboarded application. From the application ID card, we can consume these analytics like the code alerts, the benchmark, and even the detail of the Cloud Ready Index. The second part of the training is now ending. Thanks a lot for watching and do not hesitate to contact us for any further information.